Auntie Angelina Castro, and we are in the closet with Angelina Castro, duh. <laughs> and um, I have new blood today. You know what? I'm not even going to talk much. It is a Willow Rider, everybody. Oh! Yay! The class, production, the class. <laughs> oh, yay. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you very much. And I say new blood because I've been out for a little bit. Mm -hmm. And when someone mentioned you, I Googled you. And the first thing that I saw was the beautiful hair Aww. and the eyes and a lot more. But... I want to make sure that you understand that this is a safe place to talk about absolutely everything oh. that you want to talk about. Great. Drama free and the dirty truth. Ooh. The first question that I have for you is like, how long have you been in the industry and yeah. what is the worst thing that uh, you have experienced so far? Hmm. So I've been in the industry exactly two years now. Overall, my whole experience has been great. <laughs> you like <laughs> Yeah, no, oh, yeah, no, I haven't been jaded yet. New car. Yeah. New car smell. <laughs> yeah, no, everything's been great, but there's just been this one incident where I had a shoot with this guy, like this POV guy, and the scene literally took, I kid you not, like two hours because he couldn't stay hard, like the camera part, like just the, just the sex. The sex took two hours, and it was crazy because he was just having issues so whenever the video came out, I saw that he came early and he put it back in me. I was turned around so I couldn't see. Mm. So that, that's why it took so long. So I didn't even find out until months later. And I'm just like... Birth fuck. control? Birth control, thankfully, yes. You, but it's still fucked up. Like, you, you got to tell me when you when you come. Yes, you know, the, I see a lot of those um, horrible stories now. Yeah. That was not going on in my time at least i never experienced that and I, i'm not on birth control i've never oh, so that's what i'm saying like you never know he, yeah got me pregnant porn babies are not nice no that's why i'm on birth control no I'm, no no <laughs> i'm on the depo shot actually so i don't miss a pill yeah fuck that <laughs> how long have you been in the industry you told me two years right what got you into it at this time though why not just do only fans which is so easy right Full blown porn right now it's so random. So actually, I don't feel like I would have done as well on OnlyFans if I didn't have the studios shout me out. Why not? Because I didn't. I've never had knowledge on OnlyFans before porn. I never did OnlyFans. I never really did any kind of sex work. Uh -huh. So like everything was so new to me. Um, but I was starting to dabble a little bit into sex work in my personal life, and then I met this guy that was like, "Oh, I know a whole bunch of agents. Like I can get you into the industry." And yeah, he introduced me with an agent down here in Florida. Can we talk about the guy? Who's the guy? Yeah, his name is Mr. Mike. I love him. We still talk to this day. Um, but yeah, I met him on Sexy Jobs. On Sexy Jobs. Yeah, have you heard of that? I feel like that's how most people got in. Auntie is I know. 41, baby. Auntie is 41. Come on now, explain everything. <laughs> yeah, Sexy Jobs. So um, <laughs> a lot of people now that are in the industry, like that's how they find you know, mainstream work. work. Oh. Exactly. So Sexy Jobs is just this website that where like producers and like small content creators and stuff like that look for work porn work and oh. yeah this guy he was just a guy in a camera i did a shoot with him he paid me and he was like i think he would do really good in mainstream when was the first time that you got in how was the feeling when you got into a set because there is sets when you're like amateur and there is a by two years you already been in big sets right what is the difference between an amateur set and the feel not the difference because the difference everybody knows is like cheap you know <laughs> but, yeah, no, I was gonna say, yeah it's a little cheap i'm bad food you gotta buy your own damn uh uber eats yeah <laughs> and bring your own douches yeah <laughs> but what's the difference and what's the feel that you get from a, a big set and a smaller the feeling that i get from a big set is like wow like i did that like i know the, the work the quality everything's gonna be top notch yeah as opposed to working with like a a one-on-one -on -one kind of person yeah so explain to people that don't know what's a one-on-one -on -one kind of person because i never had that experience due to the fact that i have my own production company I see. okay and i never really uh did that many small sets and i forgot if i did because it was like on my first two years yeah so with the smaller sets sometimes it's just a guy in a camera so we got we call it guy in a camera so it's just me and the guy the talent and he's recording mm-hmm with bigger sets, it's, you know, you have your camera guy, your lighting guy, the assistant, um, all the talent, so. Food. Yeah, yeah food, yeah. Good food. <laughs> You're really <laughs> taken care yeah. of, yeah. Yeah, how old are you? I'm 24. 24, you young, so you started at 22. Exactly. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go into the family questions because everybody asks me. Nobody believes that I have like a regular, very normal. Oh my God. Yeah. Family. It's crazy. Yeah. And it's like we are not aliens and no. we are not just like dolls that go through life getting ramped and not. That's all. You know? <laughs> Like, we have a regular, normal life. And I feel that it's more accepted for you now. Right. Um, you're welcome. Because... Yeah, <laughs> you paved the way. You did. You did. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Um, it was hard. It yeah. was hard, bro. It was, it was so hard, especially because I was on Spanish TV, too. Mm. So, it was hard for people. I never talked about my family. I never talked about my marriage, which I've been married for 15 years. Mm -hmm. I never talked about anything due to the fact that... I didn't want the whole ignorance on it. Stigma, yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's How insane. do you deal with it? It's still going on. So, no, I don't really deal with it at all. Um, thankfully, all my family knows. They love and accept me. Like, I still uh -huh. talk to them to this day. And all my friends are like, oh, that's so cool. So, yeah. High school was right around the corner. How many calls have you gotten? <laughs> A lot. I'll even see comments underneath videos of like, oh, I went to school with her. I almost had a chance. Almost had a chance. Boy, bye. Didn't make it. Not at all. What the hell? They didn't even have my number. <laughs> you know, you know when you date guy. I, I I always had this experience before I came. Uh, before I became a porn star. Uh huh. I I dated a guy, right? Mm -hmm. And for, for a few years, right? Mm -hmm. But I felt that he never claimed me because, you know, he was like this type of player that oh, okay. that was out. But when I became... Wow. When I was out there, oh, I dated a girl. No, baby, we never dated. I'm not claiming you now. I don't even know your name. And Come yes. on now. What an asshole. Yes. And it was funny because you know how guys are. Yeah. You know, especially players. He was in the music industry also. And it was so funny when, when you make it, everybody, he always used to tell me, you don't understand because you're not famous. What? No, he just sounds like he has a big ego. <laughs> no, who has millions of followers now? Not you. Yeah, um, exactly. <laughs> So, have you ever felt, because we all have a little bit of ego. No, 100%. Have yeah. you ever felt that you, in the internet, with uh, growing your name, have stepped into all of those that doubted you uh, one day? Oh, 100%. I say that all the time. Like, I'm just so proud of myself and how far I've come. And, yeah, I really think I'm the shit. Yeah, you are. You are. On top of that, you are super cute. Oh, super cute. You. Any surgeries? No. Oh, actually, I've had some done on my face. You want to guess? Chin. No. Lips? No. Nose? No. What the fuck have you got done <laughs> on your... What else is on your face? I had my hairline lowered, actually, and I've never talked about this out loud. Yeah, I hated my big forehead. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I don't have no meant to laugh. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, no, is you're your good. hairline lowered? Yeah, so I, I had like a six head. Oh, God, I hated my forehead. And so I went to a plastic surgeon in Nashville, and she brought down my hairline and cut the skin in between to like bring it together. You'll never have to do buttocks in your life because that shit is probably gonna be like super- Well, no. So after the surgery for a few months, my skin was tight because the nerves were starting to repair back. But now that it's normal, like Girl, I still I'm have- I'm sorry yeah. that I'm acting like- No, like, it's, that surgery is not really heard of like that. Yeah. Yeah. What so the... if you have a big forehead, there's hope. <laughs> there's. I never thought a big forehead was an issue. Oh my god! You just do one of these things, like I do, and that's it. A bang. Well, I'm trying to grow out my bangs, but I was just tired of covering it up. I want to be able to like put my hair back and feel confident. That was yeah. so left field. I know. Yeah, it's not heard of it all, but I'm glad I did it because it's just something that's always bothered me since I always see myself on camera. I don't want to have to worry about trying to cover my forehead and yo that yeah. is so crazy. Mm -hmm. It's a really easy surgery and I mean you can't tell. Are you happy with it? I'm so happy. Do 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 you have pictures with the old forehead? Yeah, I do. Of okay, course. we're going to like I, I'm going to show I'm you. Gonna, I got yeah. you. <laughs> I'll show you. I mean, I even have videos before I got So my this is surgery recent? Done. This is it's about a year ago. A year and a half. Mm -hmm. So there's big forehead porn. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You can find, like, my first few videos, you can see. That yeah. is crazy. Yeah. How much was that? It was, like, 6000 Yo, I'm, I had so many questions, and I'm stuck on the forehead right now, and no, I apologize. No, it's <laughs> okay. <laughs> what yeah. do you No, 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 it's really okay, and I haven't put it out there, like, so no one really knows. Now they do. I got the exclusive. <laughs> you got the exclusive, yeah. It wasn't it easier to just, like, put hair in there? 
Um, a hair transplant would have taken too long. The recovery process for what I went through was only like two weeks and I could get back to work. They could cover the scar with makeup. I wouldn't have to worry about it. With a hair transplant, you have to wait for the hair to grow. How danger? What are the, the like, what's up with that? Talk to me. Like, you just go in and say, hey, my mm -hmm. forehead is big. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I have a friend that she has like, anyways. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> tell her about it for real. You'll be surprised. Um, yeah, no, I found this plastic surgeon that specializes in the face and I went to her, told her my concerns. She saw what I was talking about and she like kind of mapped out where she thinks my hairline should go to be proportionate with my face. And yeah, um, I had my surgery and she uh, drew out everything. I went under for a couple hours. Yeah, it was super easy. Super that easy. is the wildest thing I've heard in, in freaking 15 years in porn. Oh, what wow. if I did? I mean, it's so big, but no, it's not. Yeah. I wouldn't. I want to see it now because I don't think it's big. Um, Boobs. Don't ever touch them. They're perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. I, I like them. To. I like them. I'm scared too many. What is your background? Your mix? What's your background? My mom is white and my dad is black. Americans. So, Americans, yeah. Straight up, oh, I'm straight American. You're giving me a lot of firsts. I don't get straight up American, straight up black American. I get like whatever, whatever, whatever island with mm, somewhere in Europe. Okay. And everybody always go really, really back instead of just saying, I'm just American, black and white. I mean, <laughs> I do have kind of like red hair and freckles. So if you want to get technical, I probably have some Irish in me. Uh -huh. But yeah, just culturally, I'm American. Um, I'm in love with your hair. We were oh, talking about hair you. earlier. Yeah. And I was telling you that in my country, your hair is like the most exotic thing. We would just put a flower there, make it I very, it. very loud. And um, But not in this country. No. So what is your hair story? Because everybody has a hair story in this country. Oh, my God. So literally from like elementary school all the way up until high school, all I did was straighten my hair. Like I did not let my curl show at all. And just one day, I don't even know what triggered it, um, but I just wanted to wear my hair natural. Mm -hmm. So I had to, of course, go through that whole transition period. I had to chop my hair. It was like that short. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, it was like up to my ears. Poofy. Yeah, yeah, poofy. The curls were like wonky. They weren't necessarily curling up. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I did that. And then I actually had a little like hiccup in the road where I went to this hair show. And this hairstylist was like, let me put a perm on your hair that won't ruin your curls. It'll just take the frizz away. And then also let me highlight your hair all on the same day. And so I let him do that thinking, okay, like my curls will be okay. How long it were just... you bold for <laughs> after it, that? Literally, this was like a four year process. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a long time. So Don't I, touch I it. did, I'm not anymore. <laughs> Don't touch it. I love it. Is that your natural color? It's my natural hair color. Okay. Yeah, Cause my mom is a redhead. It's so I perfect. have like a lightness. Mm -hmm, is it true mm -hmm. that it matches? No, it does. It, it does. does. Yeah, oh, I have weird. a bush right now. So it's like, you yeah. You have a bush? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to see it later because remember that there is a second part to the show where we show everything and we touch stuff. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> um, We talked about your favorite co-workers. Mm -hmm. Can we repeat that? What is your yeah, favorite co-workers and what is a good story with them? So, Tony Rubino. Which is one yeah. of my faves, too, was my third scene in the industry. Uh, he's, like, my best friend. I um, love But, yeah, I did one of my first few scenes with him as well. reliable penis mm -hmm. in the industry. Oh, yeah. One of them is Tony Rubino. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. He comes on command. He's like this. Can I'm I say like that? This. Yeah. <laughs> he's like this. I'm like this. <gasps> yeah. No, he's, he's the amazing. one that showed me about the L. What is it? The L. What is that? Big men, short, small men. Big oh. Oh, I've never heard of that. What he showed me that. He showed me that. What? I'm going to tell him that. He's gonna, he showed me that. Laugh. He showed me that. That's great. But yeah, I know he was one of my first few scenes as well. And he just kind of like took me under his wing and just really has watched out for me and has always kept it super real with him. So yeah, he's amazing. Um, Amina Green. I met her about a year ago. She's so you amazing. you buy you the girls too? Yeah, I okay. do. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Full on? I love, yeah. Or oh, Lacey Pillow Princess like me. No, full on. Like, full I get on? into it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to have to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. But, yeah, Amina Green's great. I met her on set um, about a year ago. And just since then, we've really hit it off. So, with I feel like relationships in the industry can be a little hard to navigate sometimes. Do you see yourself with a man or with a female? Uh, a, man. a man. I like it too much. Yeah? Yeah. I When it comes to women, like, 
I have messed around with women one on one in my personal life, but um, but like mess around in bed or mess around and, like let's cook and live together. Type. No, not like that. It's okay. purely sexual. Okay. I actually have had one crush on a woman before, but um, who was it? So it's someone outside of the industry. Um, I met her because I would mess around with her and her husband. Yeah, wow. so yeah, yeah, yeah. I was so a little been unicorn. Around, homie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you've been around at 24. Yeah, yeah, no. I got into the industry because I was already doing all that. God, I was like, such an idiot at 24. You young girls have more experience at mm -hmm. 24 than I ever had. I was but, fast. But wait, from 26 to 30 something, girl, I, I kept up. Oh, you what? You... I, I like I really did it. I oh, kept up. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, you got out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, um, that's why I joined porn was because in my personal life, I was already having so much sex. I was already like kind of in the lifestyle. So I was like, fuck this. I need to get paid for it. Yes. But, you know what I mean? Like, ugh, I'm giving away too much good free pussy. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, she's rating herself. Let's. Mm -hmm. Second part is gonna be good. So you say you have a bush now. Mm -hmm. Don't ever cut your bush. I made the mistake of doing laser just because of my comfort. Oh, you can't even get it back like that now, can Girl, you? Girl, it looks like I'm 80 right now in there. <laughs> You're balding. I have, I have three hairs coming out that I have to plug. Like it's Ew, eyebrows. Not I, Ow. I'll yeah. show you in a minute. It's bad. It's Damn. very, very bad. Are you a backdoor girl? Oh, a back... Oh, yeah. You a backdoor girl? From the jump. I know. They say wait, but I was like, this ass is too nice. You I've are a backdoor... <laughs> Don't tell me that Tony did that. No, he no, actually did. that will hurt. Tony's big, girl. I took dread the other <gasps> day. What do you mean? I literally just saw him yesterday. Yeah. How? No, two days ago. My biggest tip is you just take it. You know, like the biggest thing or the worst thing you can do for yourself is stress when you do anal. So you just got to go for it. I just do it. I have no thoughts. <laughs> I just do it. What's your prep for it? I don't really prep. So when I worked with Dread, I didn't even clean out. Dread is I didn't not even... normal. Yeah, no, he's like... Tread is Big. not normal. Yeah, so no, I, oh I mean. Oh my God, these young girls are giving me a headache. <laughs> I was thinking about coming back, but no, I can't compete. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I used to do the whole, I don't eat for 12 hours. And sometimes I'll use a toy beforehand. But now I just kind of like to treat it like a hookup. Because that's when I find myself the most relaxed. And plus, I, I know my body well enough now to where I know if it's going to be clean or dirty. So, I know when I need to clean out and when I don't need to. Drake is that, like, how big? He's, like, I'm going to say bigger than 13 inches. He's, Google him. <laughs> how many? Google him. He's he's not normal. No, no, no. I'm saying, like, to people that are watching us. Oh, Google, Google him. him. I, was like, I can yeah, tell yeah, you yeah. right now. <laughs> no, 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 no. Like, literally, he's not normal. No, it's, like, it's crazy. It, it's, like, it's, like. It's a baby. Like, this big when he's born. <laughs> like, it's, it's just... It's, it's what? bigger than his body. Like, it's a fetus. It's not normal. And, yeah. And you, you took all that. Yeah, all holes. Oh. Have you worked with Dread? No, but I... Thank God, no. <laughs> you know, um, I consider myself a very lazy porn star. Mm, pillow princess. I'm a pillow princess. That's a better word. Um, I... When I did the girl thing, mm -hmm. I stopped because, like, everybody just saw that I wasn't into it. Mm. I don't like vagina. I don't like the smell of it. I don't like it to be... You can... Hey, girl, down there, you and you, your homies. Anything yeah, you yeah. want. But up here, when it comes from my, you know, my waist up, stay away. Mm. I don't like it, but I don't mind down there. It's like I a see. weird yeah. thing. When, I don't no, know what it is. At least you're real because I've been in a lot of situations where I've worked with women and... I can definitely feel that energy where they're not into it. And it's so awkward. It's like, so yeah, thank you for being real because it just, yeah, it doesn't make things easy. Do you do it for money or you do it because you like it? I do because I love it. You love it and you get paid. Mm -hmm, exactly. Do you see yourself not liking the industry at one point or being, being over it? Because I never saw myself until I was just over it. It's just mm. from one day to the other I was over it. Um, It's hard to imagine right now. Just because I'm having so much fun. I travel a lot. I work with so many different people that I love. So not right now. I don't see myself stopping anytime soon. Do you see yourself branding? Yeah. So I just recently bought a domain. Mm -hmm. um, branding is in. Yeah, you're going yeah, the yeah, right yeah. way. You're yeah, understood. so I just um, bought a domain. You're getting my broken and... English? You're getting yeah, my broken yeah, yeah. English? <laughs> I want to make sure I'm <laughs> answering correctly. But yeah, no, I just bought a domain for... This website here, I want to whisper it in your ear. 
Yeah. So it's... No, that was available? Yeah. How the hell? It was a lot of money. What? How nobody had that? Mm-hmm. But it's perfect with my name, Willow Ryder. Yo, it's an amazing yeah. domain. Yeah. But if you own it, why do we have to keep it secret? Well, true. Because I haven't really done anything with it yet. Okay, cool. What yeah. are you planning to do with it? You planning to do your own content there? You planning to do your merchandise? What have you learned My so far mm-hmm. that you could share with young girls that are just starting? Um, or with any woman over there, it could be hygiene. Like I, I share my hygiene tips that I've learned in the industry. I even have products which you'll get at the end of the show. Ooh, yeah, um, I love products. Because like, what have you? What can you share that you'd be like, girl? I didn't know this that I know now. That's a good question. Hmm. Honestly, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. Too early for it. Yeah. Because I, yeah, I don't really have any, like, sort of rules or anything that I follow. I mean, as far as hygiene, of course, always pee after sex. See, yeah. that's a tip. <laughs> yeah, pee after sex. You know that's a tip and not everybody knows? That's true, though. I mean, I learned the hard way, so. What was the hard way? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the UTIs. UTIs. Yeah, the fun stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody so, teaches you that. I keep telling people, No, they like, don't, yeah. Nobody sits you down and it's like, listen. Mm-hmm. You have to wash it with this. Yeah. You have to make sure his hands are clean. clean. Oh my God. Everywhere. So actually, yeah. that has, has me thinking, guys or anyone, please wash your hands before sex. I'm Holy doing, shit. You know, yeah. Like baby wipe, you know? Yeah, keep your hands clean. There's so many germs on your hands. Yeah. Nails. Are- Nails, exactly. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, so I definitely had to learn the hard way because, like you said, no one really talks about these things at all. It's all, ew, don't, yeah, don't bring it up or it's just forbidden, so. Let's talk about fans. Do mm-hmm. people recognize you? Do you like it? Are you scared about it? Um, What do you see, like? Yeah, you... Um, sorry. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, I, I love being recognized, and I've been recognized quite a bit now. Um, I think it's so cool because I'm always like, mm, who are the real freaks out here? Like, who's really paying attention? This far is really into it. You know, I took yeah. the industry as um, as a job. Mm-hmm. I took the industry as something to get me somewhere, which it did. I love the porn industry. Mm-hmm. I'd rather do the porn industry than the mainstream industry, which I was in both at the same time. Mm-hmm. But I feel that you have a different vibe to the industry than me. I was very professional and just mm. work related. You do the orgies and you do the parties and you do everything or, mm-hmm. or like me, you go home and go to sleep. Oh no, I definitely, I go home. Yeah. Um, I'm not, honestly, I'm not really into orgies like that. Really? Why no, not? I, I like more threesomes, like more personal, like close kind of group sex. But with orgies, I don't know. I'm just really weird about how people sound and a lot of people sound. <laughs> So, like, when I'm having an because or- I had an orgy recently for work, I'm just sitting there the whole time, like, you I wish they would be quiet. Like, <laughs> so, yeah, no. Do you hate when girls fake it? Like, ah, you can tell, yes, 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 yes. Yeah. No. <laughs> Fucking hate that. Like, because, like, mm. yeah, no. <laughs> They're doing too much. One of the complaints that producers had when I started is that um, I fucked ugly. What? Are you like the faces? I, or what do you mean? Because I didn't do the, the pretty faces or the fake orgasms oh. or the fake, um, not the fake orgasms. I didn't do the fake. Yeah, like screaming. So they will say like, yeah, but that's not cute. And I'm like, but that's how real people have it. No, literally. And you know what's crazy? So I've I've worked with um both directors like on the um, end of the spectrum. So I've worked with a director that wants it all natural. Um, he'll tell you to tone it down if you're doing too much. And then I've also worked with a director that's like screaming at you, like when to come, like, come now, come now. So I've had it all. And yeah, I just prefer it to be natural, you know? Yeah. I want them to actually believe and feel what's going on. I think back in my, um, on my time, you were able to fake it and mm. they would believe it. But now sex is so open and there's so much information out Literally. there that you can't be fake. Like No, people will, yeah, you can tell right away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Some people are not even like loud in bed. Like I don't talk on my personal life. Oh my gosh, I've literally like played with myself and I have orgasm and I've been able to like be quiet the whole, like I don't, yeah, I'm not like, ah! like No one does that. <laughs> Who does that for real? Is there somebody out there, the producer that had experience with tons of women? Are there women out there that just scream and you think that it's like real? Oh my gosh. Like, yeah. <laughs> he's a porn producer. Like, he should know. Yeah. Like, you looking at me right now, please comment if th- this whole screaming is like a real thing. Because I don't. I don't feel that you could have the energy to scream like that while you like. 
Uh, yeah, why you worry as I'm um, discussing. Let's see her boobs right now. So we are going to change. <laughs> I want to see her boobs. I love tiny boobies. Itty bitty titty committee. Wow. I, yes. Oh, you don't hear that a lot. I want to <laughs> see them. So we are going to change and we'll be right back. Girl, it's everything and more. Mm. 